you've got a year of parties ahead. And to set the tone, each time you can bring out your set of party arches. Have you seen these things? We're pretty certain you would never spend the money to buy them if, if you knew how easy it was to make them. Studio 5 creative contributor Kelly Loniker is here to show us how to make them and show off that price tag coming in at under $25 each. Yes, absolutely. Much less expensive if depending on the fabric you're using. So these are statement makers. Aren't these are they fun? So fun. And I love that you can roll them out again and again with just switching out the elements on them. So this is going to take you through every event and party you have this year, really. $25 is our budget. That's our monetary investment. What's our time investment to make something like this? So I did all three of these in an evening. So nice. really, I mean, give yourself four hours and now I've got all the tricky little things figured out so that should simplify it as we well. Love we'll give you those tips and tricks also. What's hiding underneath this? What are the bones? So this is actually foam board and it's insulation. So okay. imagine Home Depot. This is not like the pink fiberglass insulation. Uh -huh. This is insulation that comes as a giant foam board. Okay. Much better. Originally, I built them out of like PVC. And if you go to buy them, if you look on Amazon or whatever, you're going to see like basically a pipe okay. that is the frame. Uh -huh. I love the foam board so much more for a couple of reasons. It's super light, stores super easy and flat. Uh -huh. It also is not see-through. So what was really bothering me is I could see the pipes through. I could see what was happening in the background because all I had was a frame. The other thing I love about the foam board is I can just tack stuff to it, right? It will stick, it will, if you, you can poke. Right, so if you imagine putting fabric over just something that's like a frame, you right. can't stick anything to it without pulling and kind of ripping that off. So not only have you replicated the project through a very inexpensive DIY, you've improved it. Absolutely, I think it's worth it, less expensive and better. Paint the picture, where might we use these arches? We'll get into how to make them, but where might we use these in our party lives? Honestly, any event, so I, absolutely love the idea of having one of these that's my birthday arch and it comes out for every birthday and maybe it's just like standing in the living room maybe it's like outside you know how people decorate doors yes. for birthdays and the kids yes. walk through maybe this is like outside your door when you come out on the birthday Cute. morning but you could have one that was a set birthday it was decorated for birthday and it slips under the bed and it pulls out from under the bed every birthday and just sits somewhere in the house or even on a porch or this could be the new lawn decor, right? For the oh, summer totally. birthdays, this goes outside, says it's a birthday. You can also use it for like a shower. This is so cute behind like a dessert table. Birthdays that way, if we have like a gift table at a shower, dessert table, anything like that, obviously wedding, that sort of thing. Anniversary, any big party, but any little party too. Like this is such a fun, easy way to celebrate in your own house. And this especially is the time of year we were talking about like, Oh, it's just kind of that blah. Yes. This just is happy and fun and big. It and is. It's just, I love it. Well, and I am willing to invest time and or money in the party pieces you can use again and again. And it's so right. easy to see how that would fit right. that, that uh, requirement. Um, t teach us. Show us how Absolutely. you do it. Okay, so you're going to start with the foam board. Yeah. Um, tricky, this comes in four by eight sheets. Okay. So depending, each of these was made out of one sheet. Okay. These are just about 30 inches wide, so I couldn't get two out of a sheet. But if you wanted a little smaller scale, uh -huh. a 24, you could actually get two. These foam boards are each about $14. How are you cutting these? So um, I used an X-Acto or any, really any blade will work. Okay. I like a blade that is a little bit long. Uh -huh. So I bought this X-Acto knife that actually like has an extension uh -huh. like that. And then it just cuts. So a couple tricks, um, obviously like a big ruler helps. Draw your design on before, but cut this gradually. Don't just try and muscle through in one cut. So if I'm going to like cut a curve, for mm -hmm. example, I'm gonna cut really lightly. Did you freehand your curve like that or? No. Oh. <laughs> but you that, looks like, that looks like pretty curve. Because that's pretty darn good. I know, right. So these curves I did pre-mark, I used something that would curve and I traced it to kind of create yes. that curve. But you're, so you're gonna draw out your curve and then you're gonna just follow it. So now I've got my pre-curve. If I just, I can go a little deeper and mm -hmm. a little deeper every time. Mm -hmm. That's gonna help you get nice smooth cuts versus trying to just saw through it. Right. So that's number one go several passes through. Okay. But really for these, you just need a straight cut, a curved cut, but you could do so many different shapes. I was even thinking, I've seen the super cute like rainbow ones. Mm -hmm. There's no reason you couldn't do the same thing out of like a little rainbow shape. I so, mean, in theory, really not fun. to be boring, you could just keep them square. Absolutely. Right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And that creates kind of an easy hanging, you know, hang some cute banners or stuff from the top. You could just throw this four by eight sheet up there, done. But look how you've grouped them with kind of the like half, half, 
circle. Yes, piece. it's fun to do different layers mm -hmm. too, right? So a little bit different size. If you are gonna, I think one standalone absolutely can be done and uh -huh. is darling. Uh -huh. But when you start layering the shapes and sizes, it creates like a much more dramatic totally. backdrop. Totally. Right? What are these standing on? What? How are they suspended? So I did. You well. It depends on your situation. So you want to think about like, are people going to be walking behind them? Do I need to work, worry about like what's behind mm -hmm, them, right? Mm -hmm. This board does have two sides to it. So it has this kind of ugly printed side, but then it also has just a plain silver side. Oh, pretty. So you're definitely going to want this one facing the front uh -huh. because your fabric's going to look seamless, whereas most fabrics are going to show this through. Right. If you have a situation where you're going to have people walking behind it and you want the back to be pretty, you're probably going to have to double layer whatever is over this because you're going to see through most of this. So cover But most up. of us are going to put this like up against a wall or back behind right. a table, it right? It can lean, it can prop. So to get these two, yeah, so you can absolutely prop it up. If no one's going to see it, put it up against a chair or a wall and that's not a big deal. Yeah. If you want kind of that freedom of moving it, I just built a really easy stand using, so like a little elbow. This is just half inch PVC pipe. This is so clever. And this, two pieces. So you really have three pieces. You have a short piece, a long piece that yes. you want to go up most. This is actually, I just taped it on there. Okay. Right? You can secure it more, but I want the flexibility of being able to like pull this off and yes. then I want to slide this whole thing under somewhere that's right. going to store really And it just right? kind of leans on that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it'll just kind of lean yeah. back onto it. With Kelly, we, she's so creative. Oh, I mean, well, really, it's, this, it's, is, smart. this it, is fun. It's easy. It's so easy. If you have a really big one and you are going to maybe have like little kids running around it that maybe you're, you want a little more stable. And that's a great word. Welcome to my life. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You could do something like this where you actually have two of them okay. if you can imagine and then this is yeah. going to be a little more stable than just one right, right? all right the covers so, how did you make the covers if you are not a sewer don't feel like I cannot absolutely do this okay, okay good. right so sewing is going to create the most permanent prettiest option kind of like a pillowcase that you just slip exactly over. yep so you would literally lay lay the fabric down on your floor trace your shape around it mm -hmm. cut mm -hmm. sew around the edge mm -hmm. really simple it is literally like a pillowcase that slips over I like you a sock. just took us from the home improvement store to the sewing machine Absolutely. in one project <laughs> in one swoop amazing two stores okay. Joann's and the Home Depot but if you don't want to sew, that's the beautiful thing about the foam board. You can wrap this around and pin it on the back. Thank you. And it's pinning into place, right? Right. right. You can absolutely tape it into place. Pull out your roll of duct tape. So the one, the light pink one on the uh -huh. edge, that is actually like a crepe paper um, tablecloth from Target. No way. Isn't that so cute? So no this way. is the fabric. Oh my gosh. And then it came with these cute scalloped edges. So uh -huh. if you look here, I just cut off all the scalloped edges and then pulled them across. And this for... is where the fun happens when you're layering. And yes. You're Tacking. But, but if you get yourself some like generic background colors, then this can be made into anything, right? These uh -huh. colors can be a baby shower, a birthday, a Valentine's, anything you want. But then you get to tack on all your banners and your words and just that's where it really comes to life. The DIY party arches, the party piece we didn't know we need, but now we will use each and every event that we host. Thank you so You're much. So Instructions on our website. Absolutely. Step by step. And it really is simple. It's just a matter of playing with the sizes, the shapes and the textures and elements you want. I so. love your combination of the peach and the red. That's an Isn't underplayed that combination. Fun? So fun. Hey, sweetie, just in time for Valentine's Day. But again, any event, any occasion, any holiday, these will be your go-to. Kelly, thanks again. Great You're job. You're so welcome.